Good Morning Bay. Get to know about the traffic on your way and what's news around the world today. Some wisdom skills along the way. Oh, and a song to hum along with and sway. Get your perfect entertaining start to the day. At 9 a.m. every weekday morning with Mahima's, Mahima's Good, Good Morning, morning Bay. आपके प्यारे महिमा के द्वारा माई सेल्फ फालतू बाबा एंड ऑफकोर्स माई सेल्फ फालतू रानी लेकर आपके लिए एक और थर्सडे Terrific and totally mustani with the jani. That's right, but the jani. Of course, you are thinking, "Oh my God, Thursday has gone." I mean, what is one more day has moved on? Yes, we day number seventy-three, but the jani shelter in place. Seventy-three day day has gone, and we are actually moving towards the reopening pretty soon. Mm-hmm. Um, as you guys know, June uh, first week onwards is going to be there, and some news also about how schools are also going to be open starting uh, early part of the June. I suppose they're going to l- lay out the guidelines. What they're saying. Well, सब चीजों के बारे में जानकारी मिलेगा आपको और आज शो टुडे बोलो जन्स डेफिनेटली मेक शर्ट यू स्टे ट्यून टू आर गुड मॉर्निंग बे व्हिच कम्स टू गाइस एवरी मंडे टू फ्राइडे राइट हियर ऑन योर फेवरेट एंड वेरी रेडियो हॉट इज एरिंग लाइव एंड लोकल अपडेट एट मिर्ची थर्टीन टेन ए एम बंदो जाम एंड ऑल द न्यूज वी शेयर द गाइस ऑन एयर इज अवेलेबल फॉर यू गाइस टू गो रीड अप ऑन न्यूज ब्लॉग मीडिया महिमा डॉट कॉम एंड अभी के लिए बंदो जान रास्ते का हाल टोटल It's time for the Bondu traffic update. Call us from wherever you are at 408-912-2479. Okay, okay, okay. So let's see. Um a disabled vehicle on 24 westbound at Broadway in Oakland is kind of uh, slowing down traffic over there. Um I also see a particular accident, actually not an accident, more of a fog advisory. For people who are traveling towards the north, um, 101 northbound, south of uh, the Golden Gate Bridge, uh, people actually are going to all these places for hiking and everything. Very good. In fact, I see many people now all outside the house. I see them in the mornings huh. walking. It's so nice to see that you know it's actually happening. I know initially it was like you know dead town always in the mornings. Oh really? Nowadays on 6:30 people are out actually walking, and uh, probably it's because of the uh, the sun, I suppose. Oh. Probably because of the sun, nothing else, right? Yeah. It can't it's be probably because it gets really really hot later on in the day. Or slowly people become wiser to say, okay, fine, I need exercise. Yeah. <laughs> you know what, Alta Baba? Yeah. I wish I could. F- I I lived in a place which had a nice trail around. Doesn't you know. matter, Fatma. Whether you have a trail or you have find some other excuse, you can always say I can't go on the trail. Uh-huh. But the point is not that. But the traffic is looking pretty light around the place. Um, construction work happening in different places. Watch out for that. The situation is still the COVID situation on the roads. I mean, many people are actually not getting to work, so it's good for you. Schools are closed for sure. Um, and yes, a lot of things about uh, what's happening with the schools. People are wondering what is going to happen with the schools as well. well सब जानकारी आपको मिलेगा यही पे ऑन योर फेवरेट रेडियो हॉटीज बट जान ऑन अ गुड मॉर्निंग बेन आल्सो ऑन अदर शोज फॉर श्योर स्टे अप टू डेट ऑन अ वे ऑन अ ऑन अ डेली बेसिस इफ इट ऑल यू वांट टू गेट अपडेट्स ऑफ व्हाट्स हैपनिंग ब्रेकिंग न्यूज़ यू कैन गो चेक आउट द न्यूज़ ब्लॉग mediamahima.com लेकिन अभी के लिए दैट वाज द न्यूज़ फॉर यू गाइस न्यूज़ के बाद बाद में क्या होता है फलतवनी क्या होता है आलतो बाबा हम लाइफ में तो शुगर लगा देते हैं फलतवनी ओहो हमारा गाने का कीड़ा बन जान सुनिएगा फ्रॉम द मूवी शेफ या After a very long time, bringing back uh, Raghu Dixit, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, totally sugar lagao find. No, life. actually, in, I've noticed one. Some of the uh, movies of uh, Saif Ali Khan, these recent ones, right? Mm-hmm. He always has something like a, a philosophical touch to his uh, songs. Oh really? Yeah. Like you know, oh yeah, Bandhu to Mera. Mera. This song, I'm uh, talking about sugar lagao. Like, like you want to put some fun in your life. Yeah. Very nice. I'm liking it. Keep it up, Saif Ali Khan, Saab.
अलग सारा चाबी बगल में है ताला खुलेगा खुद यहाँ सुनने का तो अगले शनिचर को बाहर लगेगी नहीं और जो न लगे चिंता सारी छड़ दे सुर मिला के गाते जाबुला की शुगल लगा ले रम जबा की शुगल लगा ले What a wonderful song, right? You know, have you seen the movie Fast Break? Huh? Have you seen the movie Chef? Yes, I have. What do you think about the movie? I haven't seen it, so I'm asking you. It is okay. It's a little slow, thoda lamba khich diya, but the movie is nice. You know, Fast Break. Huh? I've actually seen the video of this particular song. Huh? He's actually in Kerala, is it? He's in Kerala. Yeah. Ah, he yeah. has mean curry along with rice. Oh mm. God, Altu Baba, stop! It's not ah, anything to do with so food. Ah, so yeah. yummy. Hey, you know what? I really want to do that. I would actually get on a backpack or get a truck like that and actually go around the world, just eating pasmadi. Oh God! Do some people actually make a living out of it. You know that? Just eating? Yeah, yeah. yeah. If they you call them food <laughs> bloggers. They go everywhere. Yeah. They just go eat. Oh my God, what a wonderful time. <laughs> 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 I think I think people live their lives or oh, not through them, right? Huh? Through the food bloggers, yeah. No, I don't. I don't like yeah. that. I don't think uh, they are very, very. Uh, the food bloggers are all biased. Huh. So it's like I was trying to sell the particular place. No, no, you should just go enjoy. That's my my philosophy at least, Fatwa. That's my philosophy. That's my take on things. Yeah. 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 And of course, Manjar, if you want to know take on things, we'll talk about uh, what's happening with the news for you guys, Manjar. I'll be killing. And um, as you know, whenever I say we've got time to go for headlines, Fatwa will jump in and say, "No, it's time for me to actually tell you something else other than headlines before headlines." Right, Fatwa? <laughs> so why don't you just do it right away? What do we have as headlines, Fatwa? You can say uh, before headlines. This is what story I have. Uh, <laughs> before the headlines, want to say hi, Anand Goel. Ah. <laughs> hi, Mel Pancho. Hi, sister. San Francisco, thank you for joining us, Rita Pan. Lovely to see you also joining us all the way from Illinois. And um, Mel Panchuji, did I say his name? Um, thank you so much for joining us, and to all our Mandus who are joining us on Facebook, send us a hi, send us some hearts so that we know that you're there with us. And um, you know, if there's anything you want to share um, with regard to making this a beautiful, terrific Thursday, you're more than welcome to do so. That's right, Banjan. So I'll be clear right now. Let's go see what is the news. After President Trump's attacks, the Republicans are less confident in voting by mail. Trump's executive order is going to take aim at social media firms, according to the um, uh, sources who are saying that the draft is being prepared and that executive order is going to be signed today. China Parliament is advancing a Hong Kong security law as tensions with the U.S. rise. The U.S. Department of Justice says that the probe into George Floyd's death is a top priority. There is a Reuters exclusive, uh, which we will share on MediaMahima.com, that U.S. taxpayers' virus relief 
went to firms that avoided paying tax in the United States. Wow. Yes. Um, and of course, from India, we are engaged with China to resolve the border row. Is what India is uh, responding to Trump upon his offer to mediate. And then, um, no fares are going to be charged from migrant workers returning home, according to the Indian Supreme Court. We'll bring you key points from that ruling as well. Now, the news in detail. Um, one big breaking news item, which um, just came a few minutes ago, Banjan, is uh, the fact that uh, this was a, actually a Reuters news exclusive uh, with regard to the chief of staff of Vice President Mike Pence. Now, if you're wondering what um, that breaking news is, uh, it's the fact that Mark Short, the chief of staff to Vice President Mike Pence, owns between 506000 to $1.5 million worth of individual stocks in companies doing work related to the Trump administri- administration's pandemic response. Holdings that could actually run afoul of the conflict of interest laws. Mm-hmm. Many of the medical, pharmaceutical and manufacturing companies including 3M, Abbott Laboratories, uh, Gilead Sciences, Procter & Gamble, Medtronic, Bristol-Myers, Quip um, and Johnson & Johnson in which Short and his wife hold stock have been directly affected by or are involved in the work of the Coronavirus Task Force chaired by Pence. Mm -hmm. God, this is... um, Conspiracy, eh? It's corruption at its very well, best. Well, actually, Father, to be very honest and frank to the people, this is a regular day in Washington. Yeah. <clears throat> Other companies amongst his holdings, CVS, Thermo Fisher Scientific, Walmart and Roche, have been publicly touted by the White House for their work with the federal government on the coronavirus response. Well, is it, in a way, it's good, right? He's a good investor. So people probably should think him, you know, you've got to give him a job around those investment firms. Well, um, he says that, well, technically what happens is when you, you're supposed to declare your holdings, right? Uh-huh. Um, he apparently had declared at least some of his stock holdings, more than 100 listings of individual stocks across a range of economic sectors. Uh-huh. Um, and they're supposed to uh, have said if there's any potential conflicts of interest after he joined vice president's office last year Mm -hmm. but he did not divest those holdings after being denied a tax break often granted to government officials who must sell stock in order to comply with laws ethics laws Mm -hmm. so he is clearly in violation of it and that is a breaking news item that came out so i wanted to share that with you uh, before we got into anything um, else today. Very good, Fadri. Now that we know that, that uh, we already know it, that the admission is corrupt. <laughs> I don't know, dude. This just gets uh, you don't more know. and more. You, how much more news do you want that this admission is corrupt, Fadri? How what? much more news do you need? I don't know, you're saying. Well, there's always hope, right, that we're in a democracy and things can change. But, ha. you know, are people actually listening? Are people actually paying attention? They are paying attention, but you know, right, it's not democracy, it's oligarchy. In oligarchy, people just can't listen, nothing else. They can't act until they go and vote once in four years to make sure the person they actually have in the office, he has to run his full vote a four years' time, and then they got to pick somebody else. Well, we don't know. Even that, we don't know if he will be picked because uh, Hillary won the popular vote, right? Why, why, so, you're, what are you saying? Yeah, well, I'm just saying that it's, again, the Electoral College. And there you go. Then, so it is already a dismal thing, as, you, as you're saying, right? So just go enjoy the ride. Simple, that's it. Anyway, let's go on over <laughs> to the uh, major headline, which is uh, about Trump's attacks and how Republicans are becoming less confident. Uh-huh. Republicans are much more skeptical than Democrats. Their ballots will count if cast by mail. And and less confident they will be able to vote in November's election if their state switches to all male voting, according to a new poll released by Ipsos and Reuters. Mm-hmm. In a sign of the deep partisan division sparked by Republican President Donald Trump's relentless criticism of voting by mail during the coronavirus pandemic, the poll found nearly twice as many Democrats as Republicans support efforts to expand mail balloting options. A national push for more uh, use of voting by mail, which Democrats back as a safe way to cast a ballot, as long as infection from the highly contagious coronavirus remains a problem, has set off a fierce political battle with Trump, who has repeatedly slammed the method as prone to fraud. Hmm. If you remember, he actually, that is what triggered that war on Twitter, right? Where Twitter had a 
uh, an asterisk and it said here's fact checking for yeah. um, a mail in the ballot um, and uh, fraud that can occur from it so um, based on that tw- <laughs> Trump has actually uh, taken it to heart clearly because this man seems like a petulant child doesn't he uh, because he uh, has excuse me I, I want to I, I bet you differ with that father why he doesn't seem he is <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Seem actually has a element of doubt. We have to be careful what we say because you know what? The way the authoritarian regime is working, yeah, hey, nobody can s- criticize him nah, anymore. Excuse me, Supreme Media always is kind to people who actually have a proper, you know, I would say critical view about what he does. Yeah, in fact, today, you know what he's doing, Banijan? He uh, is expected to order a review of a law that has long protected internet companies, yeah. including Twitter and Facebook, an extraordinary attempt to intervene in the media that expert said was unlikely to survive legal scrutiny mm-hmm. news of the proposed executive order came after trump attacked twitter for tagging the president's tweets about unsubstantiated claims of fraud in mail in voting with a warning prompting readers to fact check the posts mm-hmm. the draft order seen by reuters directs federal agencies to modify the way a law known as section 230 which protects internet companies from liability for content posted by their users is implemented it also orders a review of alleged quote unfair or deceptive practices unquote by facebook and twitter and calls on the government to reconsider advertising on services judged to quote violate free speech principles ah yes and officials are saying that uh, trump would sign the order Uh, today although it was not listed on Trump's official schedule for Thursday release by the White House the White House Facebook and Twitter all have declined comment nobody has commented on it so everybody's scared they don't know what's going to happen they don't know what's going to happen you know what should happen actually if Facebook should just say you know what just let's just dump it we all will just have our own countries <laughs> i i have a feeling we'll have facebook country twitter country you and think we have, so? and we we probably will have what if, what if people are on facebook and twitter huh? oh, that's okay dual citizenship, dual citizenship. <laughs> it's possible dual citizenship multi citizenship is possible actually yesterday i was reading somebody posted on uh, you know what you call on facebook or one of the walls uh, and what they had said was um, canada should just decide that it's only canada that will vote for the us elections uh-huh. and have justin trudeau run america also uh-huh. uh, and say that all of north america is one uh-huh. and we are going to run why why not that's what they say yeah. and uh, enough enough is enough america doesn't know how to handle itself that's true <laughs> Yeah, it's just very simple thing, basic <laughs> thing, health, health insurance. Ah. Well, I think it's uh, health coverage should be there for everybody. Too. I don't know. I'm, I'm not trying to say that no, it's oh, capitalism you. See, look at the what's happening right now. The farm big farmers only wants to make a lot of money right now. Right. But this whole thing of covid, do you know how much of covid patient bill is in a hospital something? Oh, how much is it? It comes to around $15,000. What? Yeah. So that's all. What? That's all fifteen thousand dollars. That's all. For them to go one day in the emergency and then put into a ward. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. One day in the emergency costs in excess of tens of thousands of $15, dollars. Fifteen thousand dollars. But of course, the thing is, there have been results about. And of course, now who's going to get all the money? Pharma. Whose money is it? Taxpayers' money. Exactly, Banjan. Yeah. You and I are paying for it. Uh huh. And also, of course. Of course, everybody. Also, when you say you, you and I, also everybody. Yeah. Thank you for including me as well. But again, but okay. What else do we have in the news? Okay. So, um, you know that sad news item that we reported on uh, oh, Banjan yeah. about George Floyd's death. Mm-hmm. Um, in Minneapolis, violent protests have broken out. Yeah, I believe even they're they're going to the point of breaking into businesses. That's not fair. Do don't do no, that. No, it's it's just going. Uh, people. are uh, angry they want to show that they are angry but you don't have to go barge into no, businesses no that's because the police have also started firing at them like you know those pellet guns and they've been know, doing all those things i know i know a lot of angst a lot of thing there but i think you know being responsible and doing a proper stage staging a proper protest is better than actually going out and doing i i, I don't i condone the uh, breaking into places and uh, ra- stealing stuff from businesses it's not fair dude come on Well anyway um the US Department of Justice is saying on Thursday that it has uh, it had made its investigation into the police involvement in the death of George Floyd a top priority after a second day of protests in Minneapolis over the unarmed black man's death 
Experienced prosecutors and investigators from the FBI had been assigned as part of a, quote, robust, unquote, probe into whether the police officers involved had violated federal laws, the department said in a statement. The statement followed a second day of protests in Minneapolis triggered by rage over the death of Floyd, a black man who was seen in a widely circulated video gasping for breath as a white officer knelt on his neck. Hmm. Floyd, 46, died on Monday. The investigation will be carried out by the U.S. Attorney's Office for the District of Minnesota, the Justice Department's Civil Rights Division, and the FBI's Minneapolis Field Office. Um, this widely circulated video of Floyd's fatal encounter on Monday night with the police, taken by a bystander, shows him lying face down and handcuffed, groaning for help and repeatedly saying, please, I can't breathe, before becoming completely motionless. It is a heartbreaking video, Bunujan. And um, if you'd like to catch up on this story, you can go to MediaMahima.com. Those of you on our social media, uh, we posted it and there's a lot of reactions that people have been posting there. So you can comment there as well. Let's uh, uh, go on over and uh, talk about another company right here in California, Alto Baba, mm -hmm. called Wellness Matrix Group. Okay, mm -hmm. this company is being sued by the city attorney of Los Angeles, mm -hmm. um, and uh, they announced yesterday that they're suing this company for allegedly engaging in a quote fraudulent scheme unquote related to the COVID-19 pandemic that was both sophisticated and wide-ranging. Wow. This lawsuit is, uh, alleges that the California-based company sold purported at-home tests for coronavirus. Wow. Falsely claiming that these tests were FDA approved. The company also sold a supposedly coronavirus killing virucide, uh, claiming that the product could build a force field around your event and even spray your entire city. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> As part of what the city attorney Mike Cure calls shocking deceptive conduct, the company allegedly attached false government registration numbers to these products and fabricated phony scientific studies and white papers to substantiate their false claims. <gasps> Quite oh an effort has gone into God, it. seriously. Mm -hmm. um, okay, China. Let's go on over to them and see what's going on over there. Chinese parliament approved a decision on Thursday to go forward with the national security legislation for Hong Kong that democracy activists in the city and Western countries fear could completely erode its freedoms and jeopardize its role as a global financial hub. Yeah, we did share about yesterday. I think they went in and they approved it already, right? They approved it. Yeah. Um, China says that the legislation will aim to tackle secession, subversion, terrorism, and foreign interference in the city but the plan unveiled in beijing last week triggered the first big protest in hong kong for months riot police were out in force in hong kong as its lawmakers debated another piece of legislation a bill to criminalize disrespect of the chinese national anthem while the united states piled on pressure aimed at preserving the city's autonomy mm -hmm. so again you can go look that information up on mediamahima.com in the United States, 40.8 million people are out of work in the past 10 weeks. That's one in four Americans is unemployed, Bindujan, hmm. at this point. 26% of the workforce. Uh, just last week, another 2.1 million people filed for unemployment benefits, the Labor Department said on Thursday. That's down 323,000 from the previous week, but brings the total for the past 10 weeks to 40.8 million which represents 26% of the civilian labor force in April. So uh, a Fed survey also found that uh, employment continued to fall sharply in retail and in leisure and in hospitality sectors. And uh, contacts uh, cited challenges in bringing employees back to work, including workers' health concerns, limited access to childcare and generous employment insurance um, and um, unemployment insurance benefits. The Fed said in its page book survey. Mm. Well, I have a bandhu on our Facebook page, uh, Urban DJ, saying that, oh, thank God we're not in China. Oh, no, thank God we're not in New Hong Kong. Yeah. Better not in China. <laughs> That's true. Because when I look at it, you actually are in a better situation already where you are. Exactly. No matter, you have a, you have a particular, auto, what do you call it, auto autocratic uh, leader uh, who's here. Oh, no, 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 please don't keep saying that. Why? We don't he's want supreme leader of us. He, uh, he's a supreme leader. By the time he finishes his term, he's going to make sure Trump will be the royal family which will own America. Oh, my God. 
That should be like, you know, um, anyway, I'm not going to say anything right people now. People are going to let it happen. The worst part is people are going to let it happen. <laughs> they already are treating him like that, right? See, yeah. like all the people in his administration, his son-in-law, his daughter, his sons. Yeah. I mean, it's like a, a, a ruling, a, a ruler. It's, it's, it's like it's a royal family. What, what am I telling you? <laughs> what am I telling you? Yeah. Same thing. It's like, you know, yeah. So we are letting it happen, Balajan. November. We're letting it happen. Remember. November, we're making it happen. What's <laughs> making it happen? We're making what happen? We're giving him the space to do it if we told you keep him back in the office. <laughs> well, at least uh, his his cronies, you know, you've got to get his cronies out of the place. Dude, but... See, anybody supporting him in terms of our uh, local politicians, you got to get them out of the place. Exactly. Well, let's also tell you, Bhinjan, that the House is scheduled to vote today on changes to the payroll protection program. Remember that? The Paycheck Protection Program yeah. set up to help struggling small businesses with emergency loans during the pandemic. So does it mean that people can actually reapply? I guess so, because this bipartisan measure is actually going to relax. Like, you know, the previous Paycheck Protection was 75% of the funds have to be used for payroll. Okay. And many people had already laid off employees and stuff. So I furloughed them and said that, you know, we cannot uh, pay you at this particular point. But now this bipartisan measure is going to give businesses a little more latitude okay. uh, and more time to use the loans under the program and more flexibility in how to use them. Oh, uh, good. So yeah. basically, uh, stay tuned. We'll we probably will have a, a segment for you guys next week. Uh, yeah. Detailing about these things. Yeah. Um, and uh, yeah, stay tuned for that. Yes. Absolutely. And uh, for those of you who know, because of the heat, right? Yesterday, the SpaceX uh, launch, that's the first uh, sending humans into space exploration, humans into orbit, Vandijan. That got delayed. Ah, um, it's conspiracy. There's no conspiracy. There's a conspiracy. It's going to happen this Saturday <laughs> when things are a little cooler. Excuse me. It is just that, you know, you know Elon Musk, he's yeah. just had a new baby. Okay. Right, he's not been able to focus on the publicity part of it. <laughs> he was hoping the whole world will watch. The whole world doesn't care about him sending a spacecraft over there because now we're dealing with the COVID-19 virus. Yeah. Why would you want to send a virus back into the, uh, you know, atmosphere where aliens have to worry about the virus? Imagine. Aliens have to worry about a virus. Ah. Yeah. How do you know? First of all, you don't know that there are aliens. Second of all, you don't know that the people who are going to go from here are going to carry the coronavirus. Well, what do you say? And don't third know. of all, Excuse you don't me. know how it will get transmitted. When you say you don't know, you don't know, you must say I don't know because I know that there are aliens. Okay, fine, <laughs> whatever, dude. But I think the whole thing is yeah, Elon didn't want to do it because he didn't get enough traction, I suppose. <laughs> publicity. He also has a publicity, you know, W. So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you got to be careful about those uh, people. That's true. Yeah. Well, um, uh, speaking of uh, publicity or sticking your nose where, you know, sometimes it's not required. Our, uh, remember we talked yesterday about how President Trump offered to mediate between China and India and how ah, both of them snubbed him? Yeah. Well, uh, finally, India on Wednesday said it was engaged with China um, to resolve the border issue in a carefully crafted reaction as... <laughs> which is seen as a virtual rejection of uh, President Donald Trump's offer to arbitrate between the two Asian giants in resolving their decades-old boundary dispute. See, what happened is the way smart Pro India did this. You know why? Why? Whatever, if suppose he comes and says, I'm going to help and doesn't do anything, just says it and India accepts it. There are people sitting here in America who actually go, oh my God, Trump saved India. Yeah. Oh, Jay Modi, Jay Trump. <laughs> and Modi's aware of that. Modi doesn't want to associate his name with Trump anymore. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so guys, so watch out for that. Yeah. Yeah. But good. I, I hope it gets resolved. It's got, I don't want to see another war, dude. It's very expensive for the nation to, you know, I, whole humanity should just give up war. I think take all those, you know, arms, ammunition, just burn them out or whatever. Oh them God, out. that'll set off the entire earth, see, man. I, I'll tell you one thing, Faldrin. Did you know that the, if you look at the economics of it, right? Mm -hmm. The amount of money a nation spends on their defense mm -hmm. is equal to the is directly proportional to the amount of fear they have in the world. Right. And fear. As we know already, is a big, big factor for people to have stress. Mm -hmm. No wonder America's stressed out. And I'm not kidding, Manojan. You know, we have a collect. Uh, our budget uh -huh. is equal uh, or more than collective budget of entire Europe, Germany, um, uh, and all the other states, like including Middle East uh -huh. and India. American budget is more. The military spending, military defense spending, spending budget. Annual budget. budget is close to around a seven hundred billion dollars. Seven hundred billion dollars annual expenditure on uh, what do we call it? Research, development. What do we call it? Well, you know what? The very simple thing: our um, Air Force One, mm -hmm. President's aircraft. Do you know how much that costs? How much? Four billion dollars. Four billion dollars, and forty percent of the cost 
it goes towards the central respiratory right and again why because we were scared something will happen mm-hmm. anyway uh, that's something which is uh, uh, yeah we got to first get rid of all those uh, wars man seriously well um let's go over to uh, india again with jan now while we are talking about the india china war there's also this whole war against coronavirus that's going on in india mm-hmm. um the supreme court on thursday directed that no fare for travel either by train or by bus should be charged to immigrant not immigrant migrant workers who are stranded across the country due to the coronavirus induced lockdown mm-hmm. and that they should be provided food and water um we have a whole list of other key points where they said that um um the governments may have taken steps already but there are many deserving people who did not get the benefits that were meant for them mm. so that needs to be looked into it ordered that migrant um workers um should be um given uh, plans and uh, should be given all the mechanism to be able to return home and actually uh, have enough food and shelter and water at that time so um yeah. there is a whole bunch of guidelines that they've given and we'll share that on mediamahima.com speaking of guidelines more masks social distancing mm-hmm. smaller classrooms could all be on tap for california's 2020 21 school year according to um say uh, the state superintendent of public instruction in california tony thurmond who um addressed the press yesterday we don't have any clear directives yet but he's saying that these are possibly things that could happen there will be people taking temperatures of kids every day at schools mm-hmm. um and then uh, they all the kids will be required to wear ppe kind of thing so uh that's pretty much what we have time for on this morning's good morning bay we hope uh, you enjoyed listening to us and got some information out of it we will see you tonight live at 5 on the pam pam show till then have yourself a terrific thursday and thoda sugar laga life mein ha come on sugar matlab fun nahi mile jahan bhi pagle man mujhe to barta gaya bas karwa